Welcome to the first in a series of tutorials on hand drawing skills for graphics communication students. Whether you are an art student wishing to create a three dimensional sculpture or an industrial student, you will be able to pick up some useful tips and tricks along the way. You can download the tutorial files onto a pen drive, iPod, PDA, or in fact any device that will display video. In this first unit, you will see the importance of drawing skills using nothing more technical than a pencil and paper. Graphic communication is important in industrial design. Drawing skills are a part of the, of the design process. Having an idea is not enough. We have to be able to communicate that idea and the easiest way is to use a pencil and paper. The first exciting sketches of a project can explain a great deal to others who may be able to give you assistance or advice. At this point, changes can be quickly made. New ideas, no matter how extreme, can be put down on paper. These early sketches are often called the concept sketch. Once you have some basic ideas with size, material, texture and maybe colour, then you can get into a computer-aided drawing program or carry on with detailed hand drawings. CAD programs can be time-consuming and hard to learn how to use well. You also have to have a copy at home. This can create problems. So having good basic drawing skills is a fundamental task to any design work. All the drawings in this product development video were done by hand. Once you have some detailed drawings with accurate measurements, the exciting prototype building can commence. The example of a power assisted wrench was made on a wood lathe out of nothing more than a piece of timber. A steel bar was inserted in the middle to create the illusion of a heavy motorized product. The detailed plan made making the prototype an easy task. At the end of some tutorials will be a short quiz to help you recall content. You can do the quiz with friends or family members. The results can be emailed to me after completion. In a computer lab setting, these video tutorials can become tests. Quick and painless for both teacher and student, while using visual tools which are so important in graphics communication. Thank you for watching and enjoy the other tutorials in this series.